Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to add a table of contents to your InDesign document. And this is a feature that works with paragraph styles that have been set up in your document. And we'll go over how to add those, but if you need a refresher, I also have another video and that'll be right up here at the top of your screen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I have my document here and I have a sort of preliminary table of contents here. Um, it'll have little sections underneath here, but we'll add those later on. Now, if we scroll down through the document, you can see I've got chapters here and I have these little subheadings here. Here's another one. And then it goes on to chapter two and there are subheadings under that too. So the first thing I want to do is add a body style. So I'll get on my text tool. I'm going to highlight some of it and then command A or control A to select all of it. And then I'll come over here to paragraph styles and these are under window. So I'll go to window styles, paragraph styles to pull those up. And it should actually pull both character and paragraph styles. So I'll create a new one by clicking down here on create new style. And then I'll double click that and I'm going to call this body. We'll come over to basic character formats. I'm going to change my font to Montserrat and then change my size to 11. If I move this out of the way and choose preview, I can see what it looks like. I'm also going to get rid of hyphenation by just unchecking this box and then we'll say, okay. Now, normally when I set up a book like this, I have everything flowing all the way through the book, but this template that I downloaded isn't like that. So I'm going to have to go in here and highlight all the different sections and change them to body. So I'll just do that real quick. Now I'll get into my chapter text box with my text tool. I'll command a to select all and I'll make another paragraph style. So I'll click that little button, double click on this, and then we'll call this chapters. I want to make sure this is based on no paragraph style here. And then for this one, I'm going to change it to Montserrat 14 point. I want it to be all caps. And then I'll come over here to indents and spacing and choose center alignment. I'll see how that looks. It looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to increase my tracking here. Um, we'll put this at about 75 and say, okay. So now my paragraph style for the chapters is done and I'll apply it to the other chapter headings. Finally, I'll need a paragraph style for these subheadings because they will also be in the table of contents. So everything that you want in the table of contents needs to have its own paragraph style. So I'll make another one, double click on that. And I'm going to call this subheadings. We'll make these Montserrat bold and that looks pretty good. So we'll say, okay, then I'll go through, find all my other subheadings and apply that paragraph style. Now, the other thing that we need to set up is our page numbers. Now, if you don't know how to set up page numbers, I also have a video for that and that'll be up in the upper right hand corner. I already have my master pages set up and they do have page numbers on them. Now this is technically page five in the document, but I want to start my page numbers with number one here. So to do that, I'll right click in my pages panel. By the way, if you're not seeing this or any of these other panels, you can come up here under window and open them right here. So here's pages. So I'll right click on this, then I'll choose numbering and section options. I'll make sure start section is checked. And then I want to start page numbering at one right here and we'll say, okay, now it's going to give me a warning and that's totally fine. It just means that, you know, there's already a page number here and it might cause some problems. So be sure to double check your page numbers. Once you do this, we'll say, okay, now we can see that number one starts here on page five, which is what I want. And if I scroll down here, we've got two, three, and it goes on from there. Okay. So now that we have our paragraph styles set up and our page numbers are correct and the way we want them InDesign can use those to build the table of contents. So I'm going to come back up here to the table of contents page, the little fake one that I set up. And the reason I made this is because I want to set up paragraph styles here too. I'll do these a little bit differently. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to get my text tool and I'll highlight this one. I hit command A or control A to select it all. And I'll make a new paragraph style based on this text. I'll double click it. I'll call this TOC title. TOC is table of contents. 
And if we come over here to basic character formats, we can see that it's pulled all of the information that I've already set up here. Montserrat regular 20 points with 70 tracking. If we come down here to indents and spacing, you can see that it's already centered for us. So that's another option. You can just set up your text the way you want and then create a paragraph style from that. So I'll say, okay, next I'll highlight these chapters and I'll make a new paragraph style from them. So this will be TOC chapters. We'll say, okay. And now I'm going to get in here. I'll just type subheading in here. I want this to be a little bit smaller. I'll put it at 13. And I'm going to indent it a little bit. Now this is the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and make another paragraph style for that. We'll call it TOC subheading. Oh, and by the way, you need to make sure that none of your paragraph styles are based on anything. So I'm going to change based on it's pulling from TOC chapters and I'm going to choose no paragraph style. And then I'll say, okay, I'll deselect and then I'll come back and double check these others. That one is good and this one looks good too. So now I have three table of contents paragraph styles. Now after the fact, I've decided I actually want to make these the chapters bold and uppercase. So all we have to do is come back in here to chapters, change our font style to bold and change our case to all caps. And that looks okay. Okay. Now the next step is to have in design build our table of contents. So I'll come up here to layout table of contents. And that'll bring up this screen. Now our title is going to be contents. Whatever title you put here will be the title of your table of contents. And for the style of that, we want to use TOC title. Now we want to put our document styles into the table of contents. So first I'm going to put chapters and I'll add that here. Next I'll put in subheadings and I'll add that. And this is sort of showing how it's going to lay out. So the chapters are going to be on top and the subheadings beneath them. If you wanted to switch them, you could just remove them both and then add the subheadings first. Now we want to choose more options over here if it's not already open. Now, if you click your chapters, you can see their level one here and subheadings are level two. So that's the way they'll lay out in the document. I'll click on chapters and for the chapters, I want to apply the TOC chapters paragraph style. So to do that, I'll choose entry style TOC chapters, and then I'll do the same with the subheadings. We'll choose TOC subheading. Now we've got most of the table of contents set up. So I'll click okay. And then we get this little cursor. We can click and drag to draw our table of contents and I'll pull it over here. I'm just going to hide that command three or control three, and then select this old one and just delete it. And then I'll unhide with option command three or alt control three. Okay. So we have the basic format here, but there are some things I want to change here. I would like to add some space below contents. So I'll do that with the TOC title. Make sure to deselect that shift command a or shift control a You can also hit escape to get out of the text box. Then I'm going to come over to paragraph styles, TOC title, and then I'll come over to indents and spacing. And I'm just going to add a little space to give it some room because the subheadings are two lines. We might want to change the font on those so they can be condensed to one line. So to do that, I'll double click on TOC subheadings. And I'll just make those alternate Gothic. See how that looks. Well, it's not my favorite font in the world, but for this example, I think it'll be fine. We'll make it 13 point and I'm going to decrease the letting a little bit and say, okay. Then for the chapters, I'll just add some space before. All right. This is looking pretty good. The next step is to get your page numbers aligned on the right over here. So to do that, we'll come back up under layout and table of contents. And we'll do all the chapters first. So I'll click on that paragraph style right now between the chapter one and the number one, we have a tab. So I'm just going to delete that. And instead of that, we're going to add a right indent tab and we'll do the same with the subheadings. We'll delete the tab that's there and then add a right indent tab. And then we'll say, okay, and we'll get this that says, Hey, it's been updated successfully. I'm going to not show that again because we're going to be getting back in there quite a lot. So I'll say, okay. So now all the numbers are aligned on the right side. Next, we need to make the dots that go between the text and the numbers. So to do that, we'll come back into our paragraph style. I'll go into the TOC chapter style 
and I'm going to come down here to tabs. Now to get this to work, we need to click in this white bar above the ruler, not in the ruler itself, but just above it. So I'll click there. It doesn't actually matter where you click. And then for the leader, I'm going to add just a period. And then we can preview this. And here's what we get. If those are too close together for you, you can space them out by adding a space right after your period and then hitting tab to see the changes. Now this is too far for me. So I'm going to delete that space and then we'll make a character style here in a minute that we can apply to those dots and we can have a little more control over them. So I'll go ahead and say, okay, now I'll come into the TOC subheading and do the same thing. I'll click up here in the white area and then add a dot in the leader and say, okay. Now, as you can see, the dots on the chapters are a lot bigger than the dots on the subheadings. And also the page numbers are quite different too. So I like to have both my page numbers and the dots be consistent through all. To do that, we can set a character style. So I'll come over here to character style. We'll need to make two character styles, one for the dots and one for the page numbers. Make sure you don't have the table of contents selected. I'll come down here to character styles and create new style. Then I'll double click that. I'll come to basic character formats. I'm going to make the size 11 and we'll put the tracking at zero. I'll also make the font family Montserrat so that they'll all be the same, even though these are two different fonts and I'll say, okay, oops, I forgot to name it. We'll call that one dots. Next, I'll make a paragraph style for the page numbers. So I'll create a new style, double click on it, and I'll just call this numbers. We don't want it based on anything, so I'll put none here. And then this is already set up with Montserrat regular 11 point and tracking of zero. That was because it was originally based on dots, but it's a nice starting point. So we'll go ahead and say, okay, for that. Now I'll come back up to layout, table of contents, and here's where we can choose our page number style. We'll leave this at after entry. And then for the style, I'll choose numbers. This part right here is talking about the dots in between the entry and the number. So we'll change that style to dots. Now I got subheading selected right now. So I've changed that information for the subheading. Now I'll click on chapters and make the changes there. So we want it to be the same page number after entry will be numbers. And between the entry and the number, we want dots. Now I'll say, okay. And you can see that it's updated. So if we zoom in here, we can see what's happening. I think I would like my page numbers to be bold. So all I have to do is go to character styles, numbers, double click that. Whoops. Actually, this is what happens. If you have something selected, you're basically changing that whole thing to this character style. So I'll cancel and I'll undo with command Z or control Z. I'll deselect all shift command a or shift control a, and now we can go in and change the numbers without making changes to the entire thing we have selected. I'll go to basic character formats and I want to change this to bold and you can see that the numbers have updated. I'll say, okay. And then I also want to change those dots. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. And I want a little more space between them so I can adjust the tracking right here. And then we'll say, okay. So now the table of contents is exactly how I want it. Now, if you wanted to add a subheading in somewhere in this document, let's say we want to add a subheading right here. And we'll just call this include paragraph styles. Now we can go back to our table of contents. And you won't see it unless you select it and then go to layout update table of contents and you can see it adds it right in here. So now we have include paragraph styles on page three. So that is the entire process of creating a table of contents, modifying it to make it look better and then updating it. If you have changes to your document. All right. I hope this video is helpful. If you liked it and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.